Morning. Also, hopefully you've seen the first couple of pictures of me uh, messing around with this mechatronics unit. So this is what well, this is, a mechatronics unit. I'm going to show you a bit more about it in just a second. I was going to try and film the whole thing, but it's absolutely impossible to concentrate on replacing what you need to replace. Talking it up to spec and, of course, doing everything while holding the camera. So I wasn't going to do that. You've seen the bits. I'm going to show you what I've been up to. So mechatronics unit out of the gearbox. I'm going to show you the gearbox now. You can then see where it comes from. So let's get a bit of light on the situation. There we go. So that's your mechatronics, or where it would usually bolt. Here, right on the front of the gearbox. So really easy to take out. And then back to the bits we've changed. So the control module is the bit that fails on this. And that is just at the back, it's at the bottom in there. This is a handy little stand that comes with it. But, uh, so you don't bend any of the contact pins or anything, because as you can see, there's quite a few. Anyway, that's been replaced, the control module comes with the new wire. The contact board, again, that's been replaced. And this is your pins. So what we're gonna do is just double check that nothing's bent, which is not, it fit on nicely. And these get talked up. It's about two Newton meters, about reading the, uh, the specs, and then uh, a couple of degrees. And that's done. So they do get talked up in a set order, guys. Don't just bang them in and out for the best because the contact plate needs to go down completely flat. So that being said, I'm gonna put the mechatronics back on the car now. Uh, then we're going to fill up the DSG, ensure the level's absolutely spot on, and then we've got to do what we call an adaption drive. The adaption drive is where it goes down the road, and when we put it through its bases, we get it to hit every condition that the gearbox would hit, and then it checks against itself, make sure it's okay, and then eventually it will pass the adaption drive, and that car is then perfect to drive. So this now, guys, going back in the car with all new covers. I'm going to show you that now. So you get a new cover there and all new seals nuts and bolts and all that good stuff so that being said guys thanks for coming along for this little one just a bit of an inside of a dsg electronics unit uh, take care and i will see you again very very soon